Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous video, we have seen the introduction. In introduction, we have seen that uh, we have seen the throughput. So uh, in this video, we will try to uh, categorize the computers or you can say uh, CPU into various category according to the Flynn's classification. So uh, Flynn's has uh, classified uh, the computers according to the uh, two parameters. Okay, so those two parameters are uh, data stream. and instruction stream yes so what is data stream data stream will carry all the data okay and uh, instruction stream will carry all the instruction so whatever uh, data is supposed to be manipulated uh, that data will be uh, brought into the cpu using uh, data stream and uh, whatever operation is supposed to be performed on that data it will be performed using instruction stream clear so this two terminology we will use uh, to uh, classify any processor into uh, flynn's classification uh, discussion so let us start okay we will denote uh, data stream with a ds and instruction stream with is okay now uh, let's say we are having these two option and uh, other two thing will be single and multiple single and multiple clear so uh, let me try to uh, create a small classification uh, for you so we, you can have idea that what we are going to discuss so uh, here data stream instruction stream okay so we can have a single data stream and multiple uh, let's say before going with multiple we will go with okay sisd or so this is normally uh, call, uh, treated as it is normally pronounced as, as SISD. So we will consider instruction stream first. Then uh, next will be SIMD means single instruction stream, multiple data stream. Next will be multiple instruction stream, single data stream and next is uh, multiple instruction stream multiple data stream now this terminology uh, uh, looks little bit confusing okay so that what is meaning of this and uh, how it is implemented so let us try to discuss so uh, let us go with the first terminology that is uh, sisd single instruction stream single data stream so this is sisd single instruction stream and single data stream now as you can see that uh, in single instruction stream and single data stream there will be one control unit one arithmetic and logic unit and then there will be one memory unit so um, this will be the uh, let me tell you the instruction stream and this will be the data stream now control unit will provide the instruction to alu and uh, whatever data is received from the memory into ALU uh, on that data whatever instruction is specified using instruction stream that operation will be performed and result will be again stored into the memory okay so what will what will be in SISD there will be one control unit there will be one arithmetic and logic unit and one memory so uh, data will be retrieved from the memory means instruction stream and then it will be forwarded to the ALU in form of instruction stream and uh, again uh, data will be also forwarded to ALU so the instruction will be sent from control unit data will be provided by memory and then data manipulation will take place into ALU means uh, whatever uh, you have studied single computer organization or you can say in a single uh, processor system or uni processor system it can be categorized into SISD single instruction stream single data stream now next 
सो वी आर डन विद दिस नेक्स्ट इज एस आई एम डी सिंगल इंस्ट्रक्शन स्ट्रीम एंड मल्टीपल डेटा स्ट्रीम नाउ एज यू कैन सी हियर कंट्रोल यूनिट विल फेच द इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड देन इट विल फॉरवर्ड दैट इंस्ट्रक्शन स्ट्रीम टू वेरियस प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट ओके सो नेम ऑफ दिस कंसेप्ट इज एस आई एम डी सिंगल इंस्ट्रक्शन स्ट्रीम मल्टीपल डेटा स्ट्रीम सो यू डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज सो इंस्ट्रक्शन विल बी फेच फ्रॉम द मेमरी इन टू द सी यू एंड फ्रॉम सी यू इट विल बी फॉरवर्डेड टू द वेरियस प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट सो पी वन रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट वन पी टू रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट टू पी थ्री रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट थ्री पी फोर रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट फोर and uh, then the memory as you can see a memory will be shared between control unit and uh, all the processing unit okay and here memory will be divided into various addressing range and uh, specific range will be allotted to specific processor okay so uh, this is how uh, simd will work okay so that same instruction will be given to various processing unit and uh, then uh, different data will be retrieved from different memory location of uh, memory and that same instruction will be executed on all the all type of data or on in all the processing unit now uh, this is really interesting that where this kind of architecture is used okay so nowadays uh, whatever gpu computing okay gpu computing is done where uh, you are using gpu to perform the scientific calculation or to train the neural network so in those kind of scenario this simd instruction will be used why because there uh, there will be the different data uh, at different layer of uh, let's say artificial neural network but instruction will be same means the way data will be manipulated at every level it will be same okay so that same instruction will be given to various unit let's say this first unit is processing the data for uh, first layer then this is processing data for next layer likewise okay so this simd this architecture is used in gpu computing okay so most of gpu uh, whatever we are using nowadays okay they belongs to simd okay and whenever you will purchase any gpu from market let's say you are using uh, 4 gb uh graphic card okay so that 4 gb is the ram of the gpu okay it is not processor so a gpu will have its own separate processor and inside that processor uh, that processing will be done okay so uh, whenever you try to buy any uh, gpu from market okay also look at the processor configuration whether it is a single core gpu or multi core gpu so uh, that that was sufficient uh, that is sufficient for simd okay single instruction stream and multiple data stream next is misd okay so we are done with the simd next is misd so um, multiple instruction stream and multiple data stream so there is not a single processor or computer uh, that exists which can be categorized into this category okay so this is only theoretical concept so there is not any uh, single computer which can be categorized into misd commercial pro we are discussing about commercial product next is mimd so let us see so uh, this is the architecture of mimd multiple instruction stream and multiple data stream now as you people can see that uh, this is almost similar to sisd but uh, addition to that to here we will have multiple set of sisd which is uh, attached with a shared memory okay so this is a control uh, this is let's say uh, processing unit 1 this is processing unit 2 this is processing unit 3 this is processing unit 4 so in each processing unit it will have a control unit alu and then memory then next processor will control unit alu and memory control unit alu memory control unit alu memory okay so this this is not uh, this won't be a large memory okay so this will be a small temporary memory mm, uh, 
we will learn that it, it is cache memory it is also known as cache memory so uh, this processor will bring the data of an individual process then it will process it into the uh, you can say ALU okay here also there will be communication between ALU and memory here ALU and memory then here also there will be communication between ALU and memory and then here also there will be communication between ALU and memory so uh, here uh, shared memory uh, from shared memory the content or the instruction will be fetched as well as uh, data stream will be also fetched okay so here input to this control unit will be instruction stream as well as data stream while output we will have data means manipulated data here also we will have uh, data stream as output while instruction stream and data stream will be as a input then here also uh, we will have uh, instruction stream and uh, data stream as an input and uh, data stream is output means process data here also we will have uh, instruction stream and data stream as an input and data stream as an output so uh, in case of mimd architecture uh, we will have multiple processor so whatever current generation of microprocessor you people are using let's say core i3 core i5 core i7 or core i9 okay so in all those cases uh, that system uh, is implemented using mimd architecture where there will be multiple instruction stream and multiple data stream means individual processor will have its own data stream and instruction stream and uh, all of this will work in parallel now very important question okay so here we have not discussed anything about pipelining yes so then what is pipelining the idea behind uh, pipelining is that um, how we can execute the parallel uh, how we can execute the multiple instruction in parallel using single instruction single data stream okay so uh, there is one type of parallel processing that does not fit into any of this architecture okay and that is pipelining okay so in this unit we will try to discuss that concept okay which is not part of sisd mimd and uh, simd so in this unit we will discuss pipelining then vector processing and then array processing so we will try to discuss uh, all this concept one by one okay so i hope you people are clear with the uh, various uh, categories of uh, processor okay sisd simd mimd here there will be uh, one control unit one alu one memory while in simd there will be one control unit and multiple processing unit and memory will be shared between this processing unit but here instruction will be same while in mimd we will have multiple processor and a shared memory and uh, then uh, uh, each processor will have its own instruction stream data stream and uh, data stream as an output so instruction stream and data stream will be as an input so this is how uh, processors can be categorized into uh, uh, it can be categorized according to the flins classification okay and the concept which does not uh, which is not fit, uh, fitting into any of this architecture it is pipelining so in next video we will try to see that what is parallel execution using single processor or uni processor architecture so in this video we will keep up to this more in next video thank you